So today's mission was to climb up into the General Sherman tree and do a general health inspection and specifically look for any evidence of potential beetle attack in the tree. When we climbed up, we didn't know what level of beetle activity was going to be in the General Sherman tree. Uh, we found a little bit of activity, but on the whole, it seems to be a very healthy tree that's able to defend off any beetle attack. We're documenting some trees that are actually dying from kind of co combination of drought and fire that have weakened them to a point where they're not able to defend themselves from the beetle attack. But what we were doing today was testing whether the drones could be used and whether satellite imagery could be used to see what we are seeing with our direct observations. And that would, if successful, would allow uh, you know, managers to be able to detect and monitor over much larger areas. The most significant threat to giant sequoias is climate-driven wildfires uh, that we've seen over the last five years, which have killed up to 20% of all the giant sequoias. But we certainly don't want to be caught by surprise by a new threat, um, which is why we're, we're studying these beetles now. They have really withstood insect attacks for a lot of years. So why now? Why are we seeing this change? Um, to what extent is it about droughts? To what extent is it about interactions with fire? There's a lot that we need to uh, learn in order to ensure good stewardship of these trees for a long time.